Hello there, everyone. This is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 32 of The Legend of Majora's Mario. And last time, we fought the bloober here. Mario learned Ultra Jump, but its babies are still around, so let's see if we can take care of these guys. Because I know they're really cute and stuff, or whatever. Alright, so there's another bloober here, and, uh, Mr. Kipper. Alright, um, you know what, we'll just take care of Mr. Kipper here. And Ultra Jump, uh... I, you know what, I'll just show it off here. So I'll just target the bloober, I guess. It doesn't really matter which one you target. Because, as you can see, it's basically just like a super jump, except you target multiple enemies. And it doesn't alternate, it's just like, random enemy each time. So it's pretty useful, actually, to look at that. Jeez. Mario, you're a beast! Freaking beast. Alright, oh, they're still there? What are they doing up in the corner there? Alright, I don't know what happens if you take all these guys out. Probably nothing. Just knowing my luck. Alright. Or maybe this is the way you get the ultimate weapon or something. Alright, uh, you know what? Let's just use the masher. Like, if we don't even- if we don't kill it, at least run away. Oh, we did kill it. And got a lucky for it. Sick. I shouldn't say sick. Sick- sick is supposed to mean something good, but then it means something bad, too. So, I don't- I don't even know what to think. Double mics, be sure. Uh, let's see if we can keep up this luck streak here. No, of course not. As soon as I say that, just no. Denied. Damn it. Okay, and one more. Is that... It's outside of the... What the hell? Well, thanks game... Oh, okay. I was about to say thanks game for screwing me over, but... Alright. It looked like it was outside of the room, like outside of the boundaries. Sometimes I wish I could go outside of the boundaries, just be alone, by myself. I know that's kind of depressing, but sometimes it's just the sad truth. Alright. Mr. K- Mr- Why do I keep calling that guy Mr. Kipper? He looks like a Mr. Kipper to me, okay? These guys just look like cheap cheeps, so that's what I want to call them. And then there's the bloobers, of course. The boobers. Okay. Zero. Is that all you got, bro? Take this. Bullet to the face. Ouch. And, um... Uh, no, mash. I'm gonna smoosh the ink out of you. Look at that. Alright. I'm gonna dump my XP points. I'll do it. I'll do it. For the good of Narnia. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, back on Lux Street. Oh, look at that. Mallory reached level 14. And he learned Snowy! Holy crap, that's an ice-type attack. First ice-type attack ever. Okay, so, uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14! Cool. Alright. Now, uh, it doesn't look like we got anything for that, so... I just completely wasted, like... How many minutes? Like, five? I don't know. Three, okay. Not too bad. Alright, what's up here, though? Is there anything of interest? Uh, there's a door... And, oh no, okay, I thought that I couldn't get back down. Because I know there's something down here, too. I see a door back there. You can't fool me. What are you trying to fool me? See? Told you. There's a safety ring. Huh. What does that do? We got a safety badge and a safety ring. This ship's trying to keep me safe. That's nice. Okay, does the exact same thing for Mario. Does the exact same thing for Peach. And let me guess, does the exact same thing for Gino. Yeah, okay, so... But what does the ring itself actually do? Are there, like, any effects of it? Okay, guards against mortal blows. That could be kind of useful. But I don't think it's useful enough to warrant getting rid of the jump shoes or the beta ring. Well, it, I don't know about the beta ring, because it's kind of useless to us at the moment, but eventually it won't be so useless, trust me. Okay, um... I just gotta climb up here now, and I'm gonna take a quick look at my map, uh, just a second. Crap. Alright, guys, uh, I'm just gonna take a quick look over here, because it looked like there were some barrels floating around up here. Oh, frog coin. That's neat. I, I don't think I ever, ever actually knew that was there. Hmm. I don't know why, it's pretty obvious, but, oh well, there you go. Hey, ooh. Arr! My phone's going off. Arr! What's going on here? Who are you? I'm 
It's a me, Mario. Okay. What? You're looking for a star? I'll let you see stars, har har. Oh, you're so funny. You freaking barracuda. Anyway, you're out of luck. You see, whatever falls into the sea becomes Johnny's property. Got that, matey? Oh, and one last thing. Read my lips. We ain't letting you through. Got it? Oh, God. Okay. Well, if you're rolling me through, why didn't you just, like, push me out of the room or something? Okay, so these guys are band bandana reds. Jeez, that's creative. Just name them after the thing they're wearing. Except... Okay, yeah, it's like... Okay, we're gonna name these guys after the thing they're wearing. But that's that would be too obvious to name them red bandanas. So, we'll just switch it around. Name them bandana reds instead. So clever. So, so clever. Alright, I'm just gonna make sure that... I'm just gonna see if they have any weaknesses or not. Kind of forgot about these guys, actually. Um, looks like they're weak to fire and thunder. Yeah. So basically, the same thing as all other water enemies: weak to fire and thunder. Eh. You know what? We'll just use the lucky jewel. Hell, get our use out of it. Yeah. Ow! Don't poke me with the spear. Get your spear out of my face, bandana reds. Pierre. And, uh, yeah, I'll use a fire orb. Actually, maybe I could use, like, an ultra jump on these guys. Take them out pretty quick. And eh, we'll just use the weakness for now. Yeah. Most of these enemies have resistances, too, that I should probably be telling you, but... You know what? You don't really need to know that. Just use what, use the weaknesses that I tell you. You don't have to worry about resistance. Okay. Oh, once again for Peach. That's just great. No. That's the one... Oh! Okay, he, he realized he was outnumbered. He's like, fuck this, I'm just getting out of here. Okay, double my XP points, I'll do it! Yes. Hey, come on, Yoshi. Where are you gonna be, Yoshi? Not there. Okay. God, that's an annoying voice. Arr, you're stronger than you look, matey. Better, better warn the upper deck. Come on, mates. Yeah, go warn the poop deck, you craps. Okay. And full heal mushroom, that's nice. Okay, what is, what's the point of all these, like, bullhorns, or whatever? They're not bullhorns, they're, like, listening ducts. Okay. Alright, where's the intruder? Um, I don't see him. Because he just ran over me. Gosh. Did he get away? There he is. Get him, boys. Run, Mario. There, he... Here, this is on us. Ah, whoa. What the? How dare you dodge the barrel? <laughs> oh, God. Dodge the barrel. Hey, how'd you get up here so fast? I ran. Well, your luck has run out. We don't take kindly to strangers here. Oh, I have to fight two more of these guys? What? Where'd you douches come from? Well, you know what? I'll, I might just speed this up. So, yeah. Just be forewarned at that. Actually, maybe not. Let's. Tr let's I'm going to try a neat little combination here. Geno boost to Mario. Okay, I missed the acting command, but I don't really care because all I need was the attack. And we're just gonna ultra jump these du these dudes. Alright, not too bad. Just get a good deal of damage out on all Wow! <laughs> oh that was ultra effective, Mario. Great job, great job. Fifty coins, thirty experience. Booyah. You're pretty tough, mate. Alright, I'll let you through Johnny's place. Thanks for that. Anything around here? No. No hidden chests or anything? Nope. Alright. Let's see this Johnny. Whoa, blue bandanas. Or bandana blues, probably. You know, the bandana blues. So you're the Mario, eh? Arr, har, har. Not much to look at. Well, this star fell into my sea, so it's mine. If you want it, you'll have to fight for it. Uh, sure, no problem. Fought plenty bigger fish than you. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Krusty might be bigger than you, but here is Johnny. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Bandana Blues, I'm assuming. Let's just check it out. Yep, Bandana Blues. I'm gonna just assume they're to the same thing as Bandana Reds. And I know, I actually looked this up beforehand. Johnny is not weak or resistant to anything, so that's kind of interesting. Alright, um... To five minutes only really wow i expected to be up to like 10 by now i don't know where i got that idea from but okay 
So we'll go ahead and Geno boost to Mario again. Oh, I missed the action command again. Why am I not good to that anymore? Okay, come on. Stop hitting me with your spears, bro. Okay, and Mario, use your ultra jump again. It's pretty expensive, but I think it's probably worth it. Let's see if we can take out at least the bandana blues here. I have no illusions of taking out Johnny with this. If we even hit him at all. Oh, I hit Johnny once. That's great. There go the bandana blues. Yeah. Go sing your blues somewhere else, bandanas. <laughs> That's such a bad joke. Alright, um... Nah, I won't... I don't really need to use any items, so I'm just slap you. Ow, 18 damage. That's my lucky number. Mega Drain. Come on, you're not a grass type, Johnny. What do you think you're doing? Okay. So just nail you in the crotch with some bullets there. That's nice. And mash you. Just take you down slowly with our primeval attacks here. I don't even know what prime primeval means. What am I doing using that word? Okay. Now it's probably going to be some smart ass in the comments telling me what primeval means. Get tough! Oh no! Oh god, he turned red. Holy crap. Now he's pissed off. He has the power of Satan with him. Jeez. Actually, I think that just means fua ha ha. But I think that get tough just means he raises defense. Not bad, fellas. How about it, Mario? Mario versus me. Want to mix it up? Oh, you want a duel? That what you want? Want a joust, buddy? Good fun, and good for you too. All right. Here comes my backup. Oh. Okay, this is... I, ca I kind of forgot about this, but this is actually pretty interesting. Look at this. There's like cheerleader squads on the side of Gino and Peach and his bandana blues. And it's me versus Johnny. That is pretty awesome. Alright, skewer. I remember the first time I saw this, though. I thought it was like two separate battles going on or something. Like, that, uh that Johnny and Mario were going to fight and the Bandana Blues and Peach and Gino were going to fight and I thought that would be really interesting but apparently not so let's we'll super jump him since he doesn't really have any weakness or resistance we'll just kind of use hella powerful attacks on him All right um, Mega Drain ah no 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 you better not kill me I swear to god okay uh, looks like we need some healing here so Max Mushroom, go! Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's golden. It reminds me of that golden mushroom in Super Mario Sunshine. You know, the one in Pianta Village. Stand on top of it, spray the moon, get a free blue coin. Yeah, we'll go over that when I LP that game. Don't have any delusions that I'm not going to LP that. That's one of my favorite Mario games ever. Diamond Saw. Why do you always do that, like, fist pump thing before you do magic attack, stupid Johnny. Johnny Depp. Alright. Can you please, like, not be tough anymore? I'm not doing much damage to you at all. Okay. Woohoo! Jeez. This boss fight is actually kind of tough. Not because, like... Oh! Whoa! Well, that boss fight was kind of tough, just because Johnny has such high defense after he gets tough. Gets rough and tough and rumble tumble. You know, Gino levels up too. And he learns Gino Blast! Yes! That's gonna be kinda useful, I suppose. Alright, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Not bad at all. I'm impressed, matey. You've earned the star. Think of it as a souvenir of our fight. What a good sport, eh? Yeah, I love the color of the star. Just nice navy blue, or sea blue, ski do, whatever. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of interesting. You know, fight the boss and he kind of turns nice. It's pretty interesting. It remind actually reminds me of uh, the Thousand Year Door, or rather the Thousand Year Door reminds me of this, because when you fight Cortez in that game, he actually gets pretty nice. Gives you a free ride on a ship. But, let's get back to this game. That's five out of seven stars. 
we're getting close to the end of the game, guys. Can you believe that? Jeez. Alright. Hey, Johnny, what's up? You must have really wanted that star. Now go on, get out of here before I change my mind. Johnny's our main man. He even fights in his sleep. We'd follow him anywhere. Actually, that's true, because... I th actually, I think the one resistance he has is sleep. He's immune to that, so that guy's dialogue is kind of funny there, because he would still fight in his sleep. Hop on the trampoline in the next room, and it'll take you outside. Go on now, give it a try. Sounds like a fun ride. Yay! And we just get launched onto the map. Look at that. Okay, so, uh, you know, I'm going to go to the sea. I just want to see something really quick. Ah, I see something in the sea. Pun not intended. But I know I saw these things over here. How do I get to those? I'm going to take a quick snoop around here just to see if I can reach those. I'll cut back in at some point. All right, guys, where I... Over here where I left this one Zeo star to die, and I'm still going to leave him. There's actually a kind of hidden passage here. Not too bad. But it leads up to here. And you get a full heal mushroom, um, a flower, and a frog coin. That's not too bad. Alright, we'll save really quick. Not going to end off the episode here quite yet. But we're going to get we're getting close to the end of the recording session, probably. But before we do that, we got to see what we've done in Seaside Town, yeah? Because... That was pretty much the whole point of just doing that to see if we can, like, cure Seaside Town. Because it seemed kind of sickly. Right. Ooh, look at these guys. Hee hee hee. You found the star. Well done. But your journey ends here. You are so gullible. Don't you know who I am? I'm Yuridovich, a member of Smithy's gang. <gasps> Shocked. It's no wonder. My impersonation of an ordinary person was flawless. Your search for the stars has worried Smithy. So if I take that star back to him, I'll earn brownie points. This is the this is the way to get ahead. It's futile to try and fight me. Just hand it over. Nice and easy. Uh, get serious. It's never futile to fight someone. So that's how you want to play it? What do you really think will happen to the... What do you think ha will happen to the real inhabitants of Seaside Town? What? What are you do- What are you doing? No, don't do that. No, please, stop! Ack! Oh. Well, we should do something about that, I think. Now isn't it a shame for an innocent old man to be tickled? Like this? Oh, tickled. What the frick? It's futile to try and fight me. Just hand it over nice and easy. Okay. Fine. There you go, buddy. Have fun with it. Eehehe! <laughs> And to think, I got the star without even soiling my hands. I'm such a genius, it scares me sometimes. No wonder I'm so important. Alright everyone, listen up, we're returning to the castle. Our ride should be here about now. Well, let's go ahead and... Let's see if we can save these guys. No, they're still locked in there. Well, fine. Maybe we can save them later. But for now, let's follow these guys up to here. Blade's late. What's taking him so long? We need to get out of here. Blade sounds like a fierce name. He must think he's tough. This is just great. Mario caught up with us. Only one thing we can do now. Although we must ru we, we rust a little, we'll have to swim for it. I think not. Oh yeah, Johnny. Not so fast there. That star's a gift to me, mate Mario. You spineless dogs have no code of honor. All these voices sound like Bowser. We'll make you walk the plank. Johnny, maybe we should... Maybe we should make Mario... Maybe we should leave Mario the pleasure of wrapping things up here. Yeah. Let's take this guy on. Double team. Eehe. I guess we'll have to take our, our disguises off now. Group formation. Uh-oh. Power Rangers, unite! And... Holy crap, it's... What? What? Did he usually like, teleports to hell? He looks enough like the devil. Okay, this is Yaridovich. An another area boss. Wow. Is this like two bosses in one video? I think not, because we're going to end this off right here. Sorry for the cliffhanger, guys, but thank you all for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.